Hi, in today's video I want to explain basics of the karyotype notations. Um, the study of the whole sets of the chromosomes is known as uh, karyology. Uh, chromosomes are depicted in a standard format known as ideogram in pairs ordered by size and position of the centromere. Uh, so if I draw um, chromosome uh, so position of the centromere for example here uh, it is uh, metacentric so both arms are equal if I put a centromere here that's called uh, submetacentric and we see that one uh, arm is uh, shorter than another one so uh, this arm called uh, petite and we put P for this and long arm uh, is abbreviated with Q and if we put uh, centromere about uh, very close to one end it's called uh, acrocentric and um, all these three kinds of uh, positions of centromere can be found on the uh, ideogram and there is also exist uh, fourth position of the centromere at the very top of the chromosome but it can be found in the different animals but not in the humans uh, so only these three types can be found in humans so as we can see here um, for example this one, this is obviously a um, uh, telecent telecentric position, uh, metacentric position, and uh, for example here, this is uh, acrocentric, and this one probably submetacentric. Um, so we have uh, 46 chromosomes, 23. Uh, from our mom's side and 23 from our dad's side so 46 all together and um, these chromosomes extracted from the single cell and they use it uh, on these chromosomes to uh, show a pattern like dark and uh, light spots uh, usually it is uh, GM sustaining and um, as you see, uh, chromosomes arrange it by the size, so number 1, 2, 3 is the largest, and number 20, 21, 22 is the smallest. And um, there is 22 autosomal chromosomes and 2 sex chromosomes. They stand uh, alone. Uh, because they are arranged not by the size. Here we see uh, two chromosomes that equal in size and that means that this is two X chromosomes so this is phenotypically female but uh, if this is going to be a male another chromosome is very short so they just uh, put together because this is two sex chromosomes not because they look alike because X chromosome and Y chromosome uh, doesn't look alike. They are very different and there is uh, different uh, uh, not only size but uh, how many genes present on each chromosome. So uh, uh, those, there are certain uh, uh, fragments that is homologous so that allowed them to um, pair during uh, meiosis. So, as I said, normally uh, people have uh, 46 chromosomes and from this uh, ideogram we see that uh, this is female, so we put 2XX. Uh, but what we also can see here is that chromosome 21 present in three quarters um, so this is uh, obviously uh, not normal, so uh, 
So that means we have one extra chromosome and we put 47 chromosomes and this is uh, female so we put X X and now we have to designate which chromosomes uh, which chromosome is extra and this is 21 so we put comma and plus 21 um, so just looking at this notation we can instantly tell uh, what's wrong with uh, this person and uh, as I said this means Down syndrome so this is So um, on the next uh, picture, I want to show you here is one extra sex chromosome. So everything, all the rest looks uh, normally. Um, usually you won't find a missing chromosome because um, every time when one chromosome is missing, that means very serious disbalance and usually such a um, person cannot be born in the first place so uh, usually um, self-abortion happens or uh, miscarriage uh, so um, in this case uh, we see one extra chromosome uh, for uh, sex chromosome so we put 47 chromosomes and uh, we put X, X, Y. This is uh, going to be phenotypically male. Uh, so, because there is a Y chromosome present that defines uh, this person to be phenotypically male. Um, so it's going to be, he's going to be infertile. And on this, and uh, yes, and this is called um, um, Klinefelter uh, filters syndrome. And on the next picture, what we see here is extra chromosome number 13 and notation would be 47, and gender is XY, so this is going to be a male is one extra chromosome number 13 and uh, this syndrome called uh, trisomy uh, 13 And uh, if I return to the previous slide, for example, what if uh, we eliminate this, uh, let me change the color, let me take white, for example, if we have uh, two chromosomes here, so this would be phenotypically normal person. So we have to change 47 to 46 and put XX here. But what if uh, we have only one X chromosome here? Um, there is another case, another syndrome that is, uh, we put abbreviation or notation like um, 
45 we're missing one sex chromosome whether it is y chromosome or x chromosome uh, it should be a couple here but we have only one and uh, this is the only chromosome that can be missing because usually uh, when we have uh, when female have two sets of uh, uh, two chromosomes x chromosome one is turn it off and form bar body and usually it's random so in one cell lines it could be uh, x chromosome from the mother side in other cells it could be x chromosome from the dead side so um, all females are uh, chimeric for this chromosome and um, it is random process but as you see uh, if there's only one x chromosome present that phenotypically this is going to be a female and um, we put 45 and for the gender we put x zero or x o and this is turner syndrome and usually such females are also infertile um, so hopefully this was uh, helpful to you and please subscribe to my channel and thank you for your attention and goodbye